it's Kenzie Nost and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I will be painting this moon, which will be this big, a big moon with a massive land coming out with this beautiful um, purpley blossomy tree and the sky will be dark, dark blue into a beautiful phthalo blue and into a light pink and it'll be a nice little painting and my whole challenge is to do all these paintings I can do under 15 minutes. So start counting. So first step is our colors. So basically we'll need some white. So go ahead and put some white on your canvas or your palette, I mean. We'll also need some black. So I've got jet black. Then we will need some pink. And I'm thinking for the pink, we might go with, ooh, magenta. That's a pretty color, pink. Ooh. I'm going to start using different colors. I'm going to run out of my magenta. Um, and then we'll need our blue, which I want to use. We are going to go to navy blue. And also, we are going to use phthalo blue. Oh, phthalo blue. Phthalo blue is like a green blue, whereas... Um, Navy, the navy I have is more of a purpley blue. Same with the ultramarine. You can use ultramarine. Um, okay, so to begin off with, we will need a filbert brush. So we are going to have to prime our canvas, unfortunately. So grab your white, and we're going to prime it in white. So dip your brush in water, tap off the excess water, and pick up a large amount of white, and just start painting your palette. take a heat gun and we're going to go ahead and dry our canvas off. So go ahead and grab your heat gun and dry it off. Okay, so once that is dried to the touch, make sure it's dry. Okay, add some more white to your palette if you've run out like I have. Okay, I'm going to start on the top of the sky, so go ahead and grab a large brush. It can be a flat brush, Phillips brush, whatever you feel comfortable with, and get it nice and wet. And we're going to go ahead and pick up some of our navy blue. So our navy blue, and we're just going to go right across the sky. Actually, mix that with some black. This isn't dark enough. I need a dark sky. We're going to go down to about, I'd say about a third of the way. So going down to a third, make sure your brush is wet. Okay, now we're going to grab some of our phthalo blue. Put that other color still on our brush, that's okay. Blend it a little up, and then blend it down. Make sure your brush is nice and wet so that the color blends down. Make sure to catch those drips if there are any. Okay, and now we're gonna blend into the pink, so Grab some pink, and we're just going to blend it in to that blue. Grab that pink and pull it down. And we'll go over this, so if you're seeing the purple, that's okay. We're just going to add a layer over it once we're done painting. This is it just blending out, and that's fine. Okay, and we can go ahead and dry that again. Once that is dry, wash out your brush real well. I would grab new water if you can. 
Grab some of that pink. We're going to start with the pink. Go back over it. Not too far over it, but just enough. We don't want that harsh line, so we're going to mix a little purple on our palette here. <coughs> and you get some water on your brush. Got some of that purple, and that's the color we're going to blend in with it. My brush does not want to blend. Okay, rinse that brush out. <laughs> Grab some of your Thalo Blue. Just blend that across. Oh, very rich colors. Make sure your brush is wet. I'll take this Thalo Blue a little higher. Into the black. Or not the black, I'm sorry. I meant the navy blue. Sorry, my paint is so dry. I don't know why. And then rinse out your brush again. And then grab some of that navy. That navy and black mixture. And put that right back up here. Blue and navy should really just blend well together. Okay, and now we can dry that off real quick. Okay, and when it's dried to the touch, we'll be ready to paint some details. Okay, so now we're going to paint our moon. So make sure you have plenty of white and that your paintbrush is thoroughly cleaned. And we're going to use the same paintbrush with a little bit of white. We're going to draw our moon essentially from around here and down and around. I want it to actually be a little bit bigger than that. So I'm just going to draw this in again a little bit bigger, just like that. And then just fill it in. It doesn't have to be perfect because the moon is not perfect. So to make it a little bit more round, make sure your brush is wet. If it's not um, transferring paint, great. So I want the moon to come out just a little bit. But we don't want it solid white because the moon has bits and pieces that aren't solid. Okay, so go ahead and wash out your brush. You put that aside. And we're going to grab our I'm going to grab my angular 
brush, which is this brush right here, which is about a quarter of an inch. Get a bit of wet, get it wet. I'm going to start drawing in this landmine. So the, the cliff that I'm drawing in, or painting in, is going to go from about the halfway point, which is here, and a little bit inwards from the moon, and it's going to kind of come down. Then you can wiggle it. Then the tip is going to come straight down a little bit. And a little bit down. An angle. And then some swoops. And some swoops. Okay, so this shape, <laughs> we're going to continue on. I don't want this. I want, um, let's see, I want it to come down just a little bit more here. And kind of come down. So it has to continuously come down, if that makes sense. And I really want it to end at the end of the paper, so, or the end of my big media paper. So I'm just going to keep going down and down. And I might have to bring it up just a little bit farther. It's okay. Trial and error. So I might just do this here. And make like a steep swoop. It still doesn't look just right, but we'll see what happens. So we're just going to fill this in with black. You can use this brush or a bigger brush, whatever works best for you. I'm just using this brush because it's in my hands right now. I want to just see what this looks like. And sometimes that's what you have to do. You have to just paint it and see if you like it or not. And if you don't like it, then you can go back and fix it. So paint it and assess it and see what you think. So do you think it needs to go out more? Do you think it needs to come back more? Whatever you feel. However, our tree is going to go past the halfway mark, so keep that in mind. So this is not the main focal point of our painting, so this is going to be just fine for the rest. Okay, so go ahead and let's add some white to that black. And I want to add a little bit of the navy blue to it. Use all my navy, so I need to get some more of my palette. So we're getting a blue gray color. I'm going to take my about half inch um, synthetic bristled brush, flat brush. This is the number eight. And I'm going to get it, uh, actually I'm going to keep it dry. I kind of want to scumble this down so I might create some cliff marks here. Oh, there might have to be more paint. If I make enough. <laughs> We're just adding some character. Oh, and I forgot to add in our little landline. So our landline is going to go about right here. Yay. Like so. Add some black in there too if you want some more contrast. Okay. And I think that's good. You can wash out your brush. And now we start on the tree. So taking that angular brush, I'm going to grab some black. And the tree, I want to lead forward this way. So I'm going to draw essentially a line that goes from the center, or I'm sorry, above this point down and straight out and from here we'll build our tree it's gonna be a thick old tree 
Let's get a branch off. Go back like this way. So at this point, we could treat, uh, we could change out our brush. Unless you want to continue working with your brush, I'm going to grab my small filbert, my number two filbert brush, and I'm going to just get some black paint on it, and I'm going to just draw in some branches here. Oops, I need to get this a little wet. So this tree is going to keep all of its branches up high, and the brush will stay up high too. Some of this you won't see. This guy maybe come up this way. He's got a little guy that's going to curve towards us. Branch off. And he's going to continue up and over past the moon. He's going to draw in some branches here, some of which will be covered. And we're going to hook him back over this way. Have another branch bumped on this way. It's all full of branches, huh? We're gonna have lots of brush, so don't worry, or lots of um, foliage. Most of this will be covered. Well, some of it, I should say. Oh, I can't really see where that goes, but that's okay. So next, we're going to grab some purple. So we're going to go with our violet. So I've got violet. And we're going to make violet. I'm going to add some fuchsia. Um, actually, no, I'm going to add magenta. We already got magenta on our palette, and then we'll be adding more white, so I need white. And those are the three colors we'll be working with for the brush. And so you can use a stippling brush, you can use um, a filbert brush, you can use whatever you feel comfortable with. I'm going to start with my stippling brush, my small one, and I'm going to grab, oh, and I need conquered group. I need a cool purple, I'm sorry, conquered group. a little that navy blue with it too. Okay, so with that navy, starting with the navy, we're going to start drawing in some of the brush. So this brush is going to go out straight. This is going to be underneath everything, so. You probably won't even see most of it.
to cut back a little bit over here. We go over here. Okay, and then we have some in the tree too, right here. Let's don't forget that little bundle. Okay, excellent. So now we're going to wash, oh, we can't wash out our brush, so we have to wipe it off. So take a towel that you're okay with destroying, or a paper towel, and wipe off your brush fairly well. And then we're going to grab some of the violet. It's a beautiful violet color. I'm going to highlight it on the top. If you're picking up color, uh, try not to go over it so much. You just want to highlight certain points. You don't want to cover all of it. So you still want some of it to show through. So don't forget where the mood is in perspective to the painting. So it's going to be highlighted on one side. It won't necessarily be highlighted on the other. You just happen to be able to highlight everything because of the mood. So above and so below. But not the outsides. Ooh, that's starting to look beautiful. Okay, so now wipe off your brush again. Now we're going to add a little magenta. Ooh, this should be interesting. But this is just going to be a little bit here and there, not too much. Just on those outsides. Okay, and there you have it, our nice little painting of a moon with a bush and a tree and the sky that's slowly going from darker to um, from dark to blue to pink. And we got our little cliff with our moon and I hope you were very happy with this painting. I'm sorry it went over a little bit over 15 minutes, but it was between 15 and 20, I believe. Anywho, until next time, this is Kenzie Knox and I hope you have a wonderful day. Okay, bye!